guys, this is Vic from Drop Spotlight. We're here with Dave Needham to talk a little bit more about his profession in the film industry. How you doing, Dave? Uh, I'm doing good. Thanks, Vic. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Thanks for inviting me on. Uh, no problem. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to us a little bit about uh, some of the, one of the films you're coming out soon with on Netflix. That's right. Yeah, the Loud House movie. It's out on uh, August 20th. Oh, yes, and we're very excited about that. We're big fans here at the house. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So moving back a little bit, I was wondering, how did you get into the film industry? Well, I, I've always been drawing since I was a little kid, and I used to make comics, um, you know, back at school and stuff, and all the way through university until pretty much the end of university, I was getting more into animation and uh self-publishing some comics and I sent them to people and including Bill Ray. Bill Ray was a, a background artist on Ren and Stimpy as well as a, a comic artist who, who worked for Mad Magazine. And he just sort of said, you know, drawing comics is great, but you'll spend your entire life drawing in your bedroom. Uh, it's more fun <clears throat> working in animation. You work in a, in a room with a bunch of people and you spend all day trying to make each other laugh. I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds, that sounds <laughs> more appealing. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so ever since then I've been sort of focused on animation and I sort of started going down to London and worked in some commercial studios down there, uh, worked on even gorillas, like early days gorillas before anyone knew, even the first videos were out. It was like a secret project of Jamie's and, uh, I managed to get to work on that. And yeah, it's been cool. I, I, I got to work in Paris as an art director on Robot Boy. I worked for the Cartoon Network's, um, development studio in Soho where Gumball came from and a lot of other shows and uh and about 10 years ago I moved to the states and ever since then um I've been working in features so I worked for, for DreamWorks as a story artist um on a few different movies uh, Boss Baby and Trolls and Penguins and um and then I was head of story at WAG on uh, Warner Animation Group on Smallfoot and now I got a chance to direct a movie. <laughs> I moved to Nickelodeon about two and a half years ago. Um, I knew Ramsey a little bit from, she was a producer on, on Boss Baby and she, uh, she moved to Nickelodeon to run the animation studio. So she, she messaged me and said, hey, <laughs> how'd you like to direct a movie? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you already know the answer to that question. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I went to, to Nickelodeon and um, I'm, I directed the Loud House movie, which is, is coming out soon. And honestly, it's the best job I ever had. It's super fun. And uh, despite the difficulties and curveballs of working from home and all that associated with that, it's, it's still been a, an awesome project and, and a really fun one. Oh, that's great to hear, man. That you you've been everywhere. You know, you're not only from from where you're from at home, and then out to the states here in the United States, uh, into the film industry. That's that's huge, especially those names you just spotted off right now. That's that's really cool because I I seen those movies. My family's seen those movies. You know. Yeah, yeah. My kids watch these movies now. They've watched Troll like Trolls five hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. So the Boss Baby, we had it on the Peacock Network, and every day, yeah. let's put it on play, put it on play. Oh, I'm awake. Can you put it on TV down? Like, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> that's the trick, you know, that's the magic source. When when your kids want to watch it again and again and again, that's that's what sends a movie into the stratosphere. And, you know, Boss Baby was a really fun experience to work on. Um, Tom McGrath's an awesome director, and uh, I learned a lot from him. But I also did a lot of scratch on that movie, and one of the, one of my sequences had uh, for the first movie got cut, uh, and so late last year I got a message from Tom saying, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna put that sequence of yours kind of in the movie. Your character Glue Baby, uh, <laughs> use your voice <laughs> from scratch." And I'm like, "Yeah, that would, that would be amazing." So I got a credit on the movie next to like Jeff Goldblum and, and Alec Baldwin as Glue Baby. I think I say Glue couple of times yeah <laughs> you were eating the glue too and then yeah. the character was like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> so that was a fun thing and it was an unexpected thing but um yeah now i'm i'm a voice actor <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool and, and that's really cool because you get to every little aspect of the animation scene not only from voice acting but the producing storyboard and the creation with its U.S. Uh, uh, drawing. That's really cool. So you know a little bit of what's needed for each aspect. 
Yeah, that's right. I mean, the the uh, development studio in London <clears throat> with Cartoon Network, that was the first chance to really get a, you have the idea, you write it, you draw it, you design it, you storyboard it, <laughs> you probably even end up editing it. And, you know, you have a small team for those sort of things, maybe, but um, you really get to touch every part of the process. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and now, you know, directing a feature, it's like that, but 10 times as big. So... That that's uh, sort of prepared me for it, and I, I was super comfortable with the early stages, like st the story and talking to the artists and uh, the fish, fish dev artists and stuff. But there was new things to me as well, like thinking about music and the composers, the songwriters, um, you know, casting as well. You know, people are like, so who do you want to cast in this movie? I'm like, oh, no one's ever asked me this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so that was all new territory, you know. And um, but I think. I think as long as you know what your story is and you can set it up for whoever you're talking to, whether it's, you know, musicians, composers or, or voice actors, that's what they really need to know. Like, what's happening in the story? Where, what, where's my character at? What's the scene about? And uh, so, yeah, it's, um, it's all about stories. <laughs> <laughs> that's great to hear. Great to hear. So going on to your, your directorial debut, mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit of what The Loud House is? Yeah, so The Loud House is a show that's on Nickelodeon. It's on, I think it's fifth season. Um, and it's a really big show on, on, on the network. But if you don't have Nickelodeon, you might not have heard of it. So what's cool about the movie is it's going out on Netflix. And so we've got a, two audiences in a way. We've got the existing fans, and there's a lot of them, and they're, they're, you know, they know everything about the show. And then you've got a whole new audience that won't have seen it before. So the opening sequence of the movie, I called it like 20 years in two minutes. <laughs> so you, you see dad and you see him meet mom dad meet and they fall in love and they go on a date dad proposes they get married they buy the loud house and then they have 11 kids <laughs> <laughs> and you, that's all in the first two minutes so you're kind of caught up you see that there's one boy in the middle of this family lincoln and he has 10 sisters and uh so i just wanted to to use that opening to kind of show just catch everyone up, catching the audience up, but also there's a lot of Easter eggs in that in that for, <laughs> for existing fans. And um, you know what? They they actually put that on YouTube a couple of weeks ago and for Parents Day, which was something I didn't know it was a day. But um, <laughs> a week, about a week later, one of the execs texted me and said, "Hey, you know that that somebody put that on YouTube and uh, it just passed a million views." And the next day, it passed two million. And the day after, it passed three million. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it slowed down a bit after that but it's still got it's still got four million views um and and some more you know comments that just one person sort of wrote something like that that's how to start a movie yeah <laughs> I'm like, yay it is actually how our, our movie does start so that's good <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so that's really cool that you're taking some elements from from the tv show into the movie i know some some teams don't like to continue stories from the TV show. They want to do something fresh, but but by the looks of the fans watching the Easter eggs, that that's huge. They they want to see what's next and little elements from the TV show there. Yeah, it's really deliberate. So uh, the first act of our movie, I wanted to feel familiar to fans. You know, they're in the world of Royal Woods and they're in the Loud House, but at the end of the, the first act, they take a trip of a lifetime. Uh, and it takes them to Scotland. So that opens up a whole new world. And The Loud House is kind of a, a flat left to right show like this. And mm -hmm. it doesn't have this dimensionality. So the camera language when you get to Scotland just opens it all up and it just feels like there's a, a bigger place to explore. Uh, and that, that was very deliberate so that you kind of feel like that you're in the world of the series, but then it opens up and it keeps, keeps growing and growing. And, and we get into some pretty big action by the end of the movie too. Wow, that's that's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. And uh, not, a lot of my fans are wondering. I know I'm wondering too. Which character of the Loud House do you resemble the most? Like who you? I resemble. You know, I I really like Luna. Um, mm -hmm. She's she's obviously she's a musician. She's into music. She's into a lot of British stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I'm from. So yeah, I I think it's cool. All of the sisters have their own like unique aspects and stuff. And I. I kind of also identify a bit with with Lincoln. Uh, you know, he's the one that keeps everyone else running, and and that's that's sort of been my job for the last two years as well, just to to help everyone else do what they do. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I, but I like all the all the sisters. Um, Lenny always makes me laugh with 
<laughs> with her just reading of the situation is always a little off or something. That's awesome. That is great to hear. Great to hear. And uh, what do you want fans to experience when they watch the Loud House movie on Netflix on August 20th? Well, just a, you know, a bigger expanded world. We, we didn't want to change or mess with what works about the show, but we wanted to elevate it and we wanted to expand upon it. So they, they're going to see things that just didn't really happen in the series. So in the series, the kids are normally the architects of their own downfall. You don't need a villain in the Loud House. But, you know, not giving too much away, there might be a, a new element in, in the movie. You know, we got, mm. we got a character called Morag, who's, she likes peace and quiet. And they're the louds. <laughs> <laughs> so they, you know, they've got different things that they're into. <laughs> awesome. That's very huge. And we're, we're going to be very excited to see this movie. And last question, where can our fans find you on social media to keep in touch with any new updates coming from your camp? Oh, I'm, I'm on uh, Instagram. I think it's Dave Needham 953. Uh, and I've been posting some, um, viz dev art concept art from the movie not production art yet of course it's not out but um we made a lot of uh what we would call movie moments so what, to support the first screening of the movie uh we took about 10 sort of mo key moments from it and we we did these illustrations and we used sort of blurs and things and little effects to create what we wanted the final images uh, to look like so i've been posting some of those and i've been posting some of these beautiful designs of the town of Loch Loud and the castle and uh, the harbour and all that. And the, the cool thing is, you know, you, I'm starting to interact with some of the fans and, uh, you know, they ask a lot, they ask a lot of questions, you know, and like what inspired this place. And it's great to hear that they like, they see the pictures of Scotland, like, oh, I want to go on holiday there or vacation. Yeah. There. And it's cool because, you know, we got to know this town almost like it was a real place. You know, it has a town square, it has a harbour, there's the castle, the park and, you, as you're starting to make the movie you start to kind of know if i was standing facing the post office the harbor's over that way and the mountains are over there and the castle's back behind me and so it starts to become like a real place in your head and it's it's cool to start to share some of that stuff with uh with the fans awesome that's great to hear our fans are be excited so guys be sure to check out the loud house movie on august 20th on netflix get some popcorn get your drinks get everyone together in the living room and watch a really good movie and have some fun thank That's you so right. much dave for the interview thank today you. thanks big take care oh, no problem you too thanks guys we'll see you at the cons Bye -bye.